Hello, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to take you into Lidl and I'm going to show you their Christmas snack aisle. So last week I went to Aldi and I filmed there, put it on the channel and showed you all the new stuff for the Christmas snacks that are in, in the store and you loved it. So I thought I would do the same for Lidl. It's only fair. I mean, we're starting off strong here with sticky toffee or chocolate and orange bombs. They look delicious. And Aldi have got an alternative flavour of these as well for the same price, but they look divine. Um, so so I thought I would take you into Lidl to the Middle Isles. Now this isn't Christmas decorations and it's none of the fresh Christmas food, the food that will be coming out for buffets and Boxing Day and Christmas dinners and stuff. I will go back and film that. By the way, this trio of mini panettones, I really want to try the milk and the cream. They've got the orange and the chocolate as well. I've never tried panettones, but I, this is the year that I'm going to try those and Stollen because I've never tried Stollen either. And Lidl have plenty of Stollen. But yeah, as I was saying, I will go back and I'll film the decorations and I'll film the Christmas food. But for now, I just want to share what is in the store. Um, it is October, so we have less than 10 weeks to go. I think Wednesday there's a 10 weeks till Christmas so we're on the countdown very shortly coming up um, so I was just going to get little bits now and put them away ready for the Christmas season and I did actually pick up a box of the baklava here because it's such a good price at Lidl so the Florentines I want to go back and get those as well I might do my weekly shop and pick them up and you can't beat Lidl's variety of nougat for $1.99 they have so many different flavours available. It's brilliant. I also spotted these. Now, I'm, I'm actually tempted for these. Almond mince tarts or amaretto mince tarts. Don't they sound delicious? They were $3.29 for a pack of six. They also brought out new crisps this year. So lobster cocktail, pigs in a blanket. We've got the roast turkey with sage onion stuffing. We also have a dupe of the Marks and Spencers camembert and hot honey. And then a blue stilton and red onion and thyme. Now these are brilliant. I hope they taste as good as what they look and what they seemed to taste. They were not that expensive either. They were £1.25 for a sharing bag of crisps. So many new flavours to choose from. They did have the non-alcoholic mauled punch, which is fantastic to see. They also have the alcoholic version version of that as well and then a nice Christmassy bottle of mulled wine there there was other mulled wine available as well for a little bit cheaper these were back they were out last year so they've come back they're £2.49 so it's the gingerbread flavour chai latte I've never tried it if you've tried it and it's nice let me know what you think in the comments we've also got the plum and the cinnamon one as well I think the plum and cinnamon will be slightly better for me than gingerbread because gingerbread's quite a strong taste but then again so is, so is cinnamon isn't it I also saw the fruit bread. I've never seen anything like this before. A huge, thick slice of fruit bread for, fruit bread for 2 dollars and it's full of fruit and nuts, and it's all kind of compacted together. This is the box of baklava that I picked up for my husband, and my in-laws absolutely love it as well, 2 dollars and these are my favourite find today. I absolutely love these dates. I usually buy them in a weekly shop. The fact that Lidl have got a huge box of them for 3 dollars I'm definitely going to have to go back and get some of those. They are so juicy and full of flavour. So this is the other cheaper versions of the mulled wine. It's £2.79 a bottle. And they've also got the gingerbread, just the same as Aldi. So they've brought out that as well. If you like the gingerbread flavour, then you definitely need to try that out. And that is £3.79. They do have mixed bags of chocolate and nuts. So they've got the Belgian chocolate fruit and nut selection, if you just wanted little snack packs. And they also have this one. I'm actually intrigued to see what this one tastes like. So it's the smoky hickory nut selection. And I thought they were slightly pricey because they're 3 49 but yeah they I'm sure they'll be delicious the crisp breads with the green olives and the herbs and the tomato and black olives they sound divine they'll look fantastic on a charcuterie board nice and small so you can add some tomatoes some mozzarella and you're good to go milk chocolate pistachios are everywhere at the minute so no surprise that Lidl has also brought them out and then we'll come back to these cheese biscuits because I actually get more footage but for now we're going into the chocolate section so they had all of the branded Christmas chocolates out that you expect they've got the Terry's the celebrations they've got Cadbury's they've got the after eights the Frere Rocher's loads of different options available really good prices as well pretty much on par with like home bargains and B&M I spotted a new chocolate product this year from the matchmakers the quality streets this was the hazelnut fill-in which 
sounds okay and then also the quality street purple bar which sounds a lot tastier in my opinion they did have some savories as well at the bottom there some pretzels and some nuts the terry's snow crunch bar and then this reese's um cane and this was three pound 49 for one of those so back to the cheese crackers if you've not tried these oh my goodness they are so good so they've got the crispies and the cheese twists they're in gouda and edam they are edam sorry they are absolutely delicious especially with like cheese and pickle on top up. so so good we've got christmas puddings we've got the eight to nine p individual ones which is price matched to aldi the same price and then they had the medium ones for 1.99 i didn't see any of the extra large ones but i did spot a huge box of mince pies 12 mince pies i've, I've not I think any supermarkets ever done 12 mince pies as far as i was concerned that is so many mince pies in a box great for parties great for buffets they also had the marzipan chocolate rounds and the marzipan logs now the woman raisin log i think my granddad would really like that so i might get a couple of those for all of his little stocking this year and they are 199 this is the year that i'm trying stolen so i need your recommendations which one do i go for it looks like there's a couple of different flavors here they are 169 but i'm definitely going to try it this year they also had some dark chocolate and sugar cane little biscuits here they are little round biscuits they look delicious and then they've got these oh yes i remember these now i brought these last year and I did a little bit of a bus uh, biscuit kind of buffet, like a dessert buffet. And I brought a couple of biscuits from Lidl. I brought some with sprinkles on as well. And they completely went. Everybody really enjoyed them. So they come highly recommended. They've got the Christmas slab. They had the hazelnut cookies that were new as well. And then they've also got these, which are new. So these are peanut clusters three different varieties you've got milk chocolate white chocolate and dark chocolate you do get quite a bit i pulled a bag out to see how much you get and you do actually get quite a bit there for the price so they are two pound and 99 but they do look decent you've got three different boxes of biscuits you can get for your big buffets you've got the hazelnut you've got the almond and the coconut as well and and at 600 grams they're 3.99 a box so a lot of biscuits there for your money they also had two of these so you can get the dark chocolate and apricot or the milk chocolate and apricot and they're 31% apricot filling they're little hearts I also spotted some new um oh these are the biscuits let me show you these quickly so these are the ones that I said were so popular that everyone that came to my house just ate them they're the butter biscuits milk chocolate with the sprinkles on top and they also sell the same but without the chocolate and just the sugar decoration they are so so good and well worth the money and then this is the new thing that I spotted a box of extremely chocolatey biscuit selections just like the marks and spencers ones they are 4.49 for a huge box of different varieties of biscuits a couple more packs of chocolate snacks so you can get the crispy milk creme filling or the hazelnut filling and their little bags of chocolates at 1.99 and then some coconut macaroons the dark chocolate version of those they had some santas they had some lollies as well some christmas lollies and then the gold coins the big ones and the small bag of them and also to finish off some spiced biscuits which sound delicious so that is everything in the Lidl Christmas aisles for snacks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.